Jing is dead. Long live capture. Many of us got our start, uh, got our start with screenshots and screencasting using TechSmith's free tool called Jing. For many years, this has been an entry level um, tool for these kind of multimedia techniques. But recent developments in uh, video, online video technology have uh, pretty much made Jing useless. So TechSmith has created and is distributing a new free screenshot and screencasting tool called TechSmith Capture, which will replace Jing. It is still completely free, and it's one of the very few options uh, for doing this sort of thing that is that does not have any hidden charges uh, that will bite you at some point. Uh, uh, Capture will allow you to take still images from your screen and save those to your local computer and then use them for whatever you like. It will also allow you to record screen video with voiceover, aka screencasting, and store that to the web, to the uh, web, and then share it with your uh, clients. You can also use uh, Capture to record your webcam. So a multifaceted tool and completely free. We'll see how to use it in a moment. Let's first talk about how to get it. You can get it from this website techsmith.com forward slash jing uh, dash tool dot html or simply google techsmith capture and you'll be taken to this page you can then just click on the free download button uh, pick your computer type and save the capture installer to a place on your hard drive where you can find it and then run that installer in the usual way I'll just double click this one to run it yes I accept the license agreement I don't have any choice and within just a very short period of time capture will be installed on your computer and will be ready to go you can keep Capture instantly available by having it run in the background. Just click on the little gear icon in the lower right hand corner of the Capture window here and select Preferences. Select Keep TechSmith Capture running in the background and click OK. That will ensure that TechSmith Capture is always available on a Windows computer in your system tray down here in the lower right. Right there it is. And when you want Capture, you can just very quickly open the system tray and click on the little Capture icon, and up it comes. So it's instantly available. No startup, no logging in, whatever. To take a screenshot with Capture, just click the big red button. Go to the upper left-hand corner of the region of the screen you want to capture. Click and hold the mouse button and drag down and to the right, to the lower right hand corner of the area you want to capture and let up. And then click Capture an Image, the little camera icon. Just that fast, you have a screenshot. You can uh, edit this screenshot in a number of basic ways. You can draw arrows. You can create callouts, which are basically just rectangles with text in them, labeling. Uh, you can draw shapes. And you can highlight text or other areas. You even have an undo button. To undo your last task. When you're ready, you can copy this image to your clipboard. You can save it to your local computer.
or you can upload it to screencast.com, which is TechSmith's uh, video and image hosting site, on which you can get a free account with limited storage and bandwidth usage. Uh, more about that in a minute. To record a screencast, again, just click the capture button. Select the area of the screen you wish to uh, and record. You have the option to just select full screen if you like. Uh, this control bar will pop up. Um, if you have multiple monitors, it'll pop up on another monitor. If you don't, if you have just a single monitor, this control bar will remove itself from your video when you start recording. Otherwise, you can drag it off screen when you're ready. I'm just going to leave it here so you can see it. Uh, to start a screencast, just click the Capture a Video button. Make sure that your microphone is working. If not, select the appropriate microphone that is working. Uh, you have the option to uh, record system audio as well, the, the audio that comes from your, through your speakers. We'll not do this here. And then to start the recording, just click the red button. You'll be counted down. And you can begin recording. Uh, finding the workshop recordings from our Zoom sessions on our Open On Demand website. Simply web to sdccdolvid.org and in the top menu bar select Workshop Archives. All of our Zoom sessions are recorded and you'll be able to play them back from here. And there's something like eight pages of them. Uh, each page is a dozen recordings. They go all the way back to 2013. Once you're through with your recording, simply uh, pause if you need to think and continue on, or alternately just click stop. This will save the lo recording locally. You can play it back to make sure that it's functional. And you can begin recording. Uh, finding the workshop that looks fine and sounds fine. At this point, if there were a problem, you could just cancel and do it again. Or you can you have the option, the only option you have, to upload to screencast.com, which is TechSmith's video hosting site. More about how to acquire a an account on that for free shortly. So we'll just click that upload button. And the, the video is now uploaded to screencast.com. I can just copy that link to my clipboard, click OK, and then if I want to see that video online, I can just paste that into the location line on my browser, press enter, and here's that video online. And you can begin recording. Uh, finding the workshop recording. You can now share this link with your client population via email, a link in Canvas, or whatever is convenient. So your clients, your students, can uh, view this video from anywhere, as often as they like, whenever they like. You can also use Capture to record your webcam. Just turn on the webcam using this button right here and select Capture. You can determine how big an image you want by uh, just clicking and dragging as before and then click capture a video. You'll get a preview, you'll see your webcam image and then you can simply click record.
this allows you to record your webcam so you can speak to your students and make eye contact and provide them with a, a very engaging video and when you're done you just click stop this allows you to record your webcam once you've ascertained the video is acceptable you can upload it to screencast.com and a very similar process to what you did with your screencast. You'll get a link to that video, which you can share with your students. If you don't already have a free screencast.com account, you can acquire one by webbing to screencast.com, as you see here. I'm logged in, let me log out. You'll see what, uh, what you will see. You can then click sign up. Provide an email address and follow through a very simple setup process that will provide you with a free screencast.com account. There are of course limitations to that free account. You'll get two gigabytes of storage, which is quite a lot of uh, content from uh, screencast or from uh, TechSmith Capture, but uh, you will also be limited to two gigabytes of bandwidth usage a month, which can be limiting if you have a large class or a lot of videos. There is a paid pro screencast.com account, which costs roughly $10 a month and which will provide you with more storage and bandwidth than you'll ever need, or you can simply download your videos from screencast.com and upload them to YouTube. You can do that. Let me log back in here. By finding one of your videos, this is the one we just made, viewing it, going to the details tab in the upper right hand corner and there you'll find a download button. You can click that, download the video, and save it somewhere you'll find it later. And then you can manually upload that file to YouTube at your convenience. And one of the nicest things about TechSmith Capture vis-a-vis -vis video is that apparently at this point these videos can be of any length. Uh, it's uh, the tool it's replacing, Jing, used to limit you to five minute videos. That is not the case with Cap TechSmith Capture. And it is uh, at this point in time there I've recorded videos up to 30 minutes in length and had no problems. Don't know if that will last, but that seems to be the case at this point in time. At the minimum, TechSmith has promised that you'll be able to record longer videos than you could with Jing. So TechSmith Capture is an exceptionally powerful tool, totally free, and one that's both a pleasure and, a, uh, and extremely useful to use. Enjoy TechSmith Capture.